As the saying goes, the more launches, the more landings. Does anybody actually say that? While Mechazilla arms are Starship's primary landing method, can they handle SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule? Landing on drone ships, complete with a Starship's iconic landing legs, presents a fascinating alternative. What upgrades are needed, and how might this shape SpaceX's future goals? Let's dive into these questions in today's episode of Great SpaceX. One of the most exciting shifts in 2025 will be the move toward full reusability. Instead of landing starships and super heavy boosters at sea, SpaceX plans to use Mechazilla arms to catch these vehicles upon their return. This method is integral to SpaceX's long-term vision of reducing costs and maximizing efficiency. However, Mechazilla isn't the only method being considered. The concept of landing on drone ships, which has been highly successful with Falcon 9 rockets, is also a potential solution for Starship. The idea of drone ship landings for Starship has been part of various SpaceX proposals, including the plans to launch 44 Starships annually from Florida and 25 from Starbase. For the Florida operations, drone ships could be stationed in the Atlantic Ocean to recover both Starships and Super Heavy boosters. Similarly, for Starbase, SpaceX has identified four potential drone ship zones. The Indian Ocean, in collaboration with Australia, the Middle Pacific Ocean near Hawaii, the Northeast Pacific, and the Southeast Pacific. Additionally, the Gulf of Mexico might serve as a recovery area for super heavy landings, providing another option to enhance flexibility. Transitioning to drone ship landings will necessitate significant modifications to Starship's design as the current version is optimized for Mechazilla arm catches. One of the most notable changes would be the addition of landing legs. While this idea might seem counter to SpaceX's recent design philosophy, many, including myself, find rockets with landing legs visually compelling. It's just something about those legs. More importantly, landing legs are a practical solution for stabilizing Starship or Super Heavy after touchdown on a drone ship. Unlike a fixed system on a platform, legs provide versatility and eliminate the need for additional complex systems on the drone ship. This approach has been proven effective with Falcon 9, whose foldable legs ensure stability during recovery. If applied to Starship, the legs would need to be significantly larger and more robust to accommodate its size and mass. For example, Starship and Super Heavy are taller and heavier than Falcon 9's first stage, necessitating longer and stronger legs for optimal balance. These legs would also need to fold seamlessly to avoid creating unnecessary bulk during launch and flight. In addition to modifying Starship itself, the drone ships would require substantial upgrades. Compared to Falcon 9's drone ships, those for Starship would need to be much larger and more durable. This increase in size would accommodate Starship's massive scale and upgraded landing legs. Furthermore, the durability of the drone ships would need to withstand the immense forces generated during landings. For context, Super Heavy's thrust is currently around 7,000 tons, expected to rise to 8,000 with version 2 and over 10,000 in later iterations. Starships, meanwhile, could reach up to 2,800 tons in future versions. Even though only a few gimbal engines are used for landing, the structural demands on the drone ship are considerable. The dry mass of Starship and Super Heavy is also significantly greater than that of Falcon 9's first stage. Super Heavy weighs approximately 300 tons, while Starship comes in at about 100. These factors necessitate reinforced drone ships that can safely recover and transport the vehicles back for refurbishment. Despite these challenges, the benefits of drone ship landings are substantial. One of the most significant advantages is their ability to share the workload with Mechazilla. As launch frequency increases, relying solely on a single landing method would be impractical. Drone ships offer a complementary solution, enhancing the versatility and adaptability of the Starship program. Drone ship landings also provide unparalleled flexibility. Since these platforms are mobile, they can be positioned anywhere in the ocean, allowing Starship to optimize its return path without expending extra fuel to reach a fixed landing site. 
This capability is particularly advantageous for missions requiring high payload delivery, where every kilogram of saved fuel matters. Another key advantage of drone ship landings is the enhanced safety they offer. By recovering Starship and Super Heavy in the middle of the ocean, SpaceX minimizes the risk to human populations in the event of an anomaly. The ocean acts as a natural buffer, reducing the potential impact of debris or unplanned explosions. Additionally, drone ship landings could play a crucial role in expanding Starship's global reach. For example, the Starbase plan includes the potential for collaboration with Australia and the Indian Ocean. In this scenario, starships could land on drone ships and be towed to Australian shores for refurbishment, paving the way for deeper international cooperation. Over time, this model could lead to the establishment of new launch sites in partner countries, further enhancing starships' influence worldwide. The effectiveness of drone ship landings has already been demonstrated through Falcon 9's remarkable track record. To date, Falcon 9 has completed over 300 successful landings, significantly reducing production costs and increasing operational efficiency. Extending this proven method to Starship would amplify its benefits, given the vehicle's larger scale and mission versatility. As SpaceX continues to innovate, the combination of Mechazilla catches and drone ship landings could become a cornerstone of the Starship program. Do you believe SpaceX will achieve this vision? If so, comment yes in the comments. Then, like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey as they continue to redefine the future of space exploration. Of course, landing Starship on a drone ship equipped with landing legs represents a bold and long-term vision for SpaceX's future. This approach aligns closely with SpaceX's overarching goals of exploring and establishing a presence on other celestial bodies like the Moon and Mars. Landing legs are an indispensable component for missions to other worlds. On the Moon or Mars, stable and adaptable landing mechanisms are essential, as these terrains are often uneven, littered with rocks, and riddled with cracks. This requirement was highlighted by Elon Musk himself in 2023, in response to a SpaceX tweet showcasing the synchronized landing of two Falcon Heavy boosters, Musk emphasized, and that's how we will land on Mars. This statement not only underscored the importance of landing legs, but also provided a glimpse into SpaceX's future ambitions. For lunar missions, the Starship HLS prototypes have already showcased preliminary landing leg designs, including both foldable and fixed models. These prototypes reflect the challenges of adapting Starship for celestial bodies with unique environmental demands. For Mars missions, while the specific landing leg design has yet to be officially revealed, it is expected that SpaceX will unveil these details soon, especially as the timeline for launching the first crewed mission to Mars approaches within the next two years. Landing on drone ships with legs serves as a critical testbed for perfecting these designs. By demonstrating the feasibility and reliability of landing legs on Earth, SpaceX can gather valuable data to refine the technology for use on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Each celestial body poses unique challenges, requiring iterative research and development to adapt the landing system accordingly. However, before achieving these ambitious goals, SpaceX must first address the immediate challenges posed by Starship's upcoming missions. The key to any successful landing, whether using Mechazil arms or landing legs, is a robust re-entry system. Starship must endure the extreme heat and stress of re-entry, making its heat shield system one of the most critical elements of the spacecraft. The protective tiles must function flawlessly to ensure the vehicle's structural integrity during this demanding phase. In addition to the heat shield, other essential systems include the navigation aids such as flaps and engines. These systems must not only function reliably, but also integrate seamlessly to guide Starship through its descent. The performance of these components will play a decisive role in determining the feasibility of landing Starship on drone ships and other surfaces. Indeed, SpaceX's vision for Starship heralds a new era of innovation and exploration. With each successful launch and landing, the company is moving closer to realizing a future where reusable spacecraft routinely traverse the Earth, Moon, and Mars. 
Among the many potential landing methods, Starship equipped with landing legs and landing on drone ships evokes a sense of nostalgia and excitement. It recalls the early days of Falcon 9 landings while pushing the boundaries of what is possible. In this vision of the future, Starship will lift off with a thunderous roar, traverse the heavens, and return triumphantly to Earth. The sight of a massive spacecraft gracefully descending onto a drone ship with landing legs will be nothing short of extraordinary. With SpaceX's rapid pace of development, this future may be closer than we think. Let us prepare to witness what could be the most thrilling chapter in SpaceX's history, aptly titled The Return of the King, Chapter Drone Ship. This era of innovation promises excitement, progress, and the reaffirming of SpaceX's role as a pioneer in space exploration. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. From all of us here on the team, we wish you a happy holiday and Merry Christmas. Until next time, keep looking up.